hey guys welcome to one another amazing video so in this video we will going to talk what is bounce what is bounce types how high bounce will affect your server and how you can decrease your bounce rate so before we start the lecture if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe it and click the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload new video now first let's understand what is bounce so to understand bounce you need to first understand how this email system basically works so see every email marketer has their own email server for example if you use mailchimp or your own email marketing system then you have that mail server so for example i have my own mail server now i want to send emails to my client so this is my client here so i want to send one email to this client but my client uses gmail so this is the gmail okay so now whenever i want to send my message to this client so my message will first go to gmail mail server gmail mail server will then going to verify my email content whether my email address is blacklisted or not so it will do some verification process and after it will verify then it will going to send my email which i have sent to gmail mail server then it will going to send it to my client after verification very simple let me repeat again i have my own mail server like that this gmail has gmail mail server so when i send my message to my client first gmail mail server will going to verify my email if everything will be all right then only it will going to send my message to my client and then only he will going to receive my message inside gmail very simple now question arises what is bounce here so sometime what happen when i send my mail to my client so sometimes this gmail mail server couldn't verify my email and gmail mail server does not send my message to my client instead what it does is that it send this message again to me that means my mail server has sent one message to gmail mail server but that gmail mail server has not sent my message to my client instead of that what he does is that it send my message again to me again to my mail server then guys this process is what is called as bounce so bounce in simple word is that whenever you send your email message to uh, any other servers so if that servers forward your message to your server without sending them to your clients then that process is called as bounce so there are lots of reasons why bounce happens as i have told you if you take this scenario gmail mail server will first going to verify my email then only it will going to send to my client so maybe my mail server has sent one message to gmail mail server but because of some verification process it found that my email is maybe blacklisted or any any problem with my mail or any problem with my email so it will give my message again to me instead of giving it to my client then that will be count as bounce so how bounce occurs so there are lots of bounce types so with the help of bounce types you will be able to understand why sometimes these servers send my message again to me without sending it to my clients okay so there are six types of bounce types so these are the six bounce types if you have these bounce types then your message will not be sent to your client okay your message will again come to your mail server without going to your client inbox so now guys we will going to discuss these types one by one okay first is soft it is a temporary delivery failure that occurs for a variety of reasons including because mail server is full email recipient server is down or offline or email is too big so sometimes what hap happens when your server send message let's take example of gmail only so when my mail server will going to send gmail mail server one message so maybe my client mail has gmail box full or his server may be down or offline or maybe his email is too big so because of that this bounce happens so this is what it is called as soft what is hard hard means it is permanent it is permanent failure because emails provided are invalid or no longer used so for example this client has one email id so he has provided me wrong email id or invalid email id so my server my mail server has sent one message to that invalid email id okay so as you all know that it is invalid email id so it will not go to my client so it will again going to bounce back 
to my mail server so this is what it is called as hard now third is called as blog now what is this blog so suppose this is your gmail if you will go here and here you will see this is from uh, facebook business so if i will going to blog uh, facebook for business okay then i have blocked this person now suppose if this email id if this email id of facebook will again going to send me message then it will not come to my mailbox or gmail box because i have blocked them okay so in this scenario what happen is facebook is a mail server and facebook has send me one message but what i did i have blocked this mail server of facebook so if this facebook mail server will again going to send me message then it won't be able to send because i have blocked them so the message will again going to bounce back so this is what it is called as block now comes abuse fraud okay abuse fraud now what is this thing now for example if you again go to gmail and if you just go to a spam folder or just go here and if you will mark this as spam okay so it is also very much same as blocking someone so spam means it will look like this if you will go to spam and from here just go to host gator so here you can see it has marked as spam so if you also mark someone email address as spam so in that case also your email will get bounced for example if you are sending emails to your clients so some of your clients have marked you as spam so whenever you send them again emails so your emails will going to bounce back to you because they have marked you as spam so this is what it is called as abuse or fraud last one is transient it indicates that mail does not deliver message temporarily but still trying it does not require anything to do from user side so see transient means you have sent one emails to your client with help with the help of your mail server so because of some reason uh, it is not delivering your emails just for a temporary basis so you don't have to worry about this situation because it has nothing to do from your side it will automatically get delivered after some time okay last is journal so journal means sometimes your message or your mail server send message but it does not get delivered to your client and it bounces back but there is no valid reason of that bounce okay then it is then it will be counted as general so these are the six types of bounce which can happen to you okay so we have understand what is bounce what are the bound types how bounce will going to affect you see if you will going to have high bounce then what will happen for example this is my mail server if i will going to send lots of messages or emails to my clients but lots of my emails are not get delivered to my client instead of that they are getting bounce so if i will going to get lots of bounce so what will happen my mail server this is my mail server so my mail server will get blacklisted or it will be marked as spam suppose you have taken services like amazon ses sendgrid so if those people those companies will going to survey your account and if they will find that you have a high bounce rate then they can even block you this is how this high bounce will going to affect you now question arises how you can decrease this bounce so let's go to my screen and let's discuss how you can decrease your bounce so first thing what you need to do you need to clean your email list for example if you will go to segments and here you can see i have around 235 emails okay these are my 235 emails so you need to first verify your emails with the help of this tool called as dbounce you simply have to just search here my dash link dot in hash dbounce okay d b o u n c then after you will enter that you will come to this website and i have also provided the link in down description box if you will take from my link you will get 1000 emails credit that means you can use 1000 email credits for absolutely free so just go to down in description box and from that link just sign up inside this dbounce and after you will sign up you will come to here and you will get 1000 credit for 100% free so what you can do whatever email list you have so you can just go here in single validation and from here you can just simply verify and click on check it will going to give you information whether you want to send emails or not or if you have lots of emails you can go to this bulk validation from here just upload your list of email address then you can also 
clean with the help of debounce so i have also made one complete video on how you can use debounce and if you have a wordpress website how you can integrate with your debounce account to your wordpress so i have also provided the link in down description box as well you can watch that video and you can learn everything about debounce now second thing is that whenever you send any emails for example this is my system motic now if you will go to motic this is my email system from here just go to email section now from here suppose this is my one of email if you will just review it it is my email so whatever email you will send first copy your email content like this i just copied it and what you can do you can just go to this tool bloggytools.com email spam trigger word sacker tool this tool will check your content if it will going to con contain any spammy words then it will going to tell you for example just paste the content click on scan now you can see there is no spam words if there will be any spam words inside your content it will show in yellow color for example if i will add free free is a spammy word if you will click on scan then you can see it is marked as free okay yellow in yellow color that means it is saying me that in your email content there is a one spammy word that is free so you can just remove this word or you can replace it so whenever you send any emails so first make sure that your content email content does not include any spammy words so i will also going to provide this tool in down description box from there you can come to this tool now another thing is you can test your email before sending it to your clients if you have heard about mail tester so i have told about this tool in lots of my videos you can check down in description box where i have told about this tool in almost all my videos so what you can do you can just send in e uh, example email for example this is your example email just copy the email and then just paste it email and then send it and then check your score and if your score will be above 7 out of 10 then you can send that email but if it will be less than 7 then you do not need to send that email to your clients otherwise it will get bounced also guys you can just go to my website and you can put captcha captcha feature inside your forms okay so you can see when you will come to my website bingcommerce.in if you will click on this register button here it will pop out one form here it will ask for email address password and everything you can see here i have provided i am not a robot captcha so with the help of this captcha i can also easily validate that person so it will going to avoid hard bounds as well so add captcha inside your registration forms okay so these are the things about what is bounce what are the bound types how high bounce will affect your server and how you can decrease your bounce so hope you guys have learned lots of things inside this video let me clear you one more thing guys i have also launched one course this course is a complete email marketing course here you will going to learn how you can create your own system with very cheap i will teach you how you can create this system this is a free complete free application of email you can create automatic campaigns for 100 percent free you can create pop-outs you can create forms you can create landing page inside this application and i have connected this application with amazon ses so you can just take this course and after taking that course you will be able to learn each and everything even i have taught you how you can use this course as well so i have also provided this course link in down description box you can check from there and you can take this course it will actually going to help you you can see four people have enrolled in, in this course and it is rated 5 with 1 rating also you can take this course i have newly launched it then you will be able to send unlimited emails for very cheap with 100% delivery rate you just need to spend 0.110 dollar for sending 1000 emails and if you want to send 10000 emails then you only have to pay dollar 1 if you want to spend 100k emails then you only need to spend dollar 10 so with that cheap rate you can send unlimited emails with very high delivery rate so just take this course if you want it will only going to benefit you because mailchimp and other ser services are very expensive and those premium services which you will going to get in any paid services like mailchimp this everything is included for free inside this application so you can take this course and set up your own email marketing system also guys one more thing please follow us on instagram we have around 45000 plus followers you can also follow us on facebook we have around 100k plus followers okay so please follow bing commerce on facebook and instagram as well so bye bye guys i will see you in the next video thank you